Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Jasmine Brand is here. Yes, I'm not just any, any brand. brand. I'm my own brand. Mano is here. Yeah. yeah. And Back. DJ Nori is here. What's up, what's up? DJ Wild Nori, Wild. this is my guy. I just shined a light <laughs> on you this morning, too. Did, did you hear it? Uh, no, I didn't hear it. Oh. He was Wild probably Wild running Wild up Bridget. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, Mano. Wagwan Bridget. Yeah, Bridget. Mm. Okay, everybody <laughs> practice <laughs> along. Um, <laughs> let's get into some Yeetie now first. Let's talk about Drake. He actually gifted a woman in his audience with a Chanel bag. Now, this woman is actually a waxer. I know Jasmine. Est- esthetician. Is getting oh, waxed wax today. Yeah, I'm trying to get waxed today. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and nice. yes, so she actually had to do a lot to get the tickets to the concert. Here's what happened as he gave out this bag. That's a lot of to wax. Where's Poop at? She said she had to wax 50. Give her the Chanel bag tonight. So she did. <laughs> Interesting. 50. That's a lot. Waxing is expensive. Listen, shout out to my girl Mika. She had, she's an esthetician. She has her own. Uh, Skin Beauty Lounge Bar in D.C. and she's my waxer, but she puts in a lot of work. It's a that's that's a lot. You guys are so lucky, Nori and Mano. The show it's painful. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel good. I'm kind of used to it, but it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Y'all have no idea. Yeah, the things that women. You know have to what hurts through? the most to get waxed? Your legs. My legs. I've never got my legs waxed. I have got I my legs waxed. Yeah, I have yeah. got my legs waxed. But I will say I got laser hair removal, so now I don't have to get waxes at all anymore. So I got laser hair removal under my arms. Okay. Okay. Nice. See, you like don't do, do you guys shave under your no, arms? No, we get tattoos. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you shave yeah. under your arms? Yeah, okay. shave, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some guys of do course. shave under their arms. Some, some guys do. Some arms. guys don't. Yeah. yeah. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, another thing that Drake did for one of his fans is they came to every single one of his shows, so he did something special for this person as well. Listen to this. It's this girl right here. I feel like I see you every show. I'm going to fly you first class to Atlanta. I'm gonna let you watch the show from a VVIP. Like, we're gonna put you somewhere real nice. And I'm gonna give you 10 bands so you can go spin it in Atlanta. Nice. Because you've been rapping real hard this whole tour. <laughs> Not was the VIP. Yeah, very, very, very Ten important. Band suit. But you know what? If they come Ten to every bands. single show, they've spent a lot of That's money. Right. Yeah, they, she deserves now, it. Now, those two yeah. things, which would you rather have? The uh, Chanel bag or the VVIP and the ten grand? Oh, uh, I think um the VVIP yeah. and the ten grand and the ten grand because yeah. then I can get my own Chanel bag mm-hmm. and you know get something small. I was in Chanel yesterday. <laughs> Chanel is expensive. That's why I said get some, way more expensive. That's why I said get something I didn't small. Buy a thing. I just you I just was thing. looking. Yeah, I was walking but, out. I was like, I mean, let me you got about me. fifteen Chanel bags. She got more than fifteen bags. Yeah. 40. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> relax, everybody. Yeah. And a little humble brag. And I bought them all. 4 well, zero, four. Chanel. Two. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to say, hold on now, <laughs> Chanel. <I'm, laughs> but, I mean, Angela. But you know what's crazy? I got my nails done yesterday, and my um, manicurist calls me Chanel. She doesn't know my name. She just That's why I was no calling you Chanel yeah. just now. No way. She calls she me, don't know she's you. like, hello, Chanel. <laughs> she, because she always has a Chanel bag my when she goes in there. Angelina Lee. But I will say this. I've been buying Chanel bags for like 25 years. Before they were a thing. Well, they've always been a thing. I well, like. in our but, community, yeah. they haven't always been a thing. No, no All right. they've always been a thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Been a thing okay. They have. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Even how how far back you think? Since far, it started. Since. Really? <laughs> since right. slavery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a thing since <laughs> slavery. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Now, TLC have confirmed, well, t Bods and Chili, that there is a Broadway play in the works. And they are doing that play with the same team that did Hamilton. Ooh. Oh, you know how exciting that Hamilton is. I will be on Broadway for that. Wow. Now, MJ the Musical is an amazing play. If y'all have not seen that, you need to check that out. You still there? Yeah. Yeah. That's I not. That's like never there. going anywhere. I'm right? gonna do this wanna, Jaja's I hair braiding go. play too. You gotta you come. Went? I want to see that, Angela. I need right. somebody to go with though. Okay. All right. Everybody relax. DM <laughs> Mano. Mano needs a date. Uh, but Mano will watch at home with you. Winning time, but it's unfortunately canceled after two seasons. <laughs> oh. Yes. So ahead of the show's second season finale, they did acknowledge that this is the end of the series. One final matchup. Hashtag Winning Time is what they tweeted. So for everybody that watches that, that's basically the story about the Los Angeles Lakers dynasty of the 80s. Okay. Um, it's based on the book Showtime Magic Kareem Riley and the Los Angeles Lakers Dynasty of the 80s. Those were some wild times. Some wild times. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to be alive. Mm-hmm. And speaking of television, Byron Allen has bid $10 billion for ABC and other networks. That deal would include FX and National Geographic cable channels as well. And so that's what he's trying to do. Remember, Ten, $10 billion. Yes. They were saying that he was in a bidding war for majority ownership in BT, mm-hmm. and that included VH1 and BT, but that didn't pan out. He really is a boss, yo. 
All right. Well, that is your Yeetie. And when we come back, we have about last night. That's when we all get to talk about what we did last night, what we were not invited to, and what we're doing tonight, maybe. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. About last night is next.